So as look at this cloud cover. That's actually headed towards it. Uh, just a moment ago, this was just one or two clouds, but now it's getting pulled into this thunderstorm. Inflow, that's and what that we're talking is, about. Yeah, that's the inflow we're talking about. It's getting dragged in, and that's really what's helping to spin this large tornado. Uh, is it possible that we can tell them via radio to pan over to the left just a little bit? Okay, look, there it is. There's our tornado right there. That's, that is it. That's on the ground right there. And uh, I, I can't believe that we actually have people sitting out there like it's a concert. It's, um, uh, they, this is going to be a close call. And I, I, I can tell you this is uh, not a wise thing to be out doing. But that right there, it would be our tornado. For it's folks who are across the area, the Storm Prediction Center is continuing this outbreak through the early and mid-evening. So this, uh, for the entire tornado watch, this is going to continue to persist throughout the evening. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, look at that, Ted. Uh, see that inflow? These are being pulled in. That's our tornado right there. This is a large tornado, folks. Please take cover. Please don't wait on this. You've got to take cover in the city of Tuscaloosa. I have a uh, vantage point uh, that was set up with a photographer that you see this live shot with and Lee Garner, and uh, I've got them in a safe location that I know that they would be uh, located away from the tornado, but they'll have a look into this. And that is uh, the wall cloud right there. And if this thing is on, still on the ground, which we're being told it is, it would be right in here. And that thing is, uh, that's, that's really a broad area that is rotating. So look at that. And also back to the to left a little bit. Uh, Marlon, if you can pan me left a little bit. I'm just going to talk to you over TV. Uh, they'll relay it, and we'll get it there. But um, That's the wall cloud right there, Mark. Yeah, and I'm, I'm wanting to keep an eye on this back here as well. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm getting an idea of where they're shooting right down into this thunderstorm. And uh, that is a definite lowering there. That is where our inflow is coming into the uh, tornado. But remember, we've got a tornado emergency. This is confirmed on the ground. Uh, I see light just up under it, but we may still have the tornado right here. It doesn't mean we can't see it. And um, that, I tell you, that right there looks like it. That could be a developing tornado that if that like isn't it. it already. Yep, that's it. Look we, at that wall cloud hanging down. I'm going to step out of the way. We this have even more. We have another tornado cellular. on the ground, too. Yeah, we could have multiple vortices out of this. I would not be surprised if we do. Uh, this uh, right here is a wall cloud. Uh, we may have a vortice which is trying to develop with this. And um, I don't know if Marlon, Marlon, if he can pan left even further. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get a look at that, uh, the rest of that. And I'm um, trying to uh, look around and look at that. That's, that's a lowering, but I'm thinking this is it right here, guys. That is, that's our tornado. Last check, it was on the ground. It was a large and very dangerous tornado. Look at that. Here it comes. Okay. Tuscaloosa, you're, you're watching it live with us. This is the tornado that is headed towards the city of Tuscaloosa. We also have another video on that Tuscaloosa uh, camera on the campus. They're seeing the tornado okay. as well. Let's go ahead and take that shot, too. We don't have that. We don't. Let's, st let's stick with what we got right here. Okay. All right. Stick with this right now. Here's our tornado. That's it. You can see it is really wound up. It's, uh, this is the lower base, the wall cloud, and uh, you are looking right into the heart of it. Uh, it's not quite as wide as uh, it could be. I'm not saying that it isn't larger or hasn't been larger at some points. These go through life cycles, and it's very important to understand that even if it may be on a downslope as far as the uh, life cycle, uh, we're, not, uh, we're not necessarily um, looking at it dying out completely. Uh, that is the wall cloud right there. I really don't see much in the way of a tornado other than that. That's the, uh, that's the rotation right there, and it really can't see much more. This is down towards Shelton State. And I don't know what it is about Shelton State, but you guys, you just get hit time and time. Okay, there it is. It's on the ground That's now. That's a tornado on the it's ground. It's on the ground. You can see the rotation. Okay, Tuscaloosa, this is becoming a large tornado. It is on the ground. It is now moving very quickly towards the north and east. You are watching live footage of this tornado on the ground headed towards the city of Tuscaloosa. This is a tornado emergency. Take cover immediately. This tornado will be arriving in the city of Tuscaloosa within the next minute or two. It's going through stages. You can see it's starting to wrap up and then it starts to fall apart at times. Don't be misled by that. These things can really start to ramp up. As a matter of fact, look at that. That's another little vortice trying to start there. This is the parent tornado. Look at that tornado. Look at the velocity. You that, can see the debris. Okay, this is our debris field. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to step over to this side. 
Look at this tornado. Live right now, this is what's happening. It is headed towards the city of Tuscaloosa. Again, I can't emphasize enough, from Skyland Boulevard northward, this is going to be a violent tornado. We're talking very dangerous, very high winds, structural damage that could be extensive. This could cause not only the damage for structure, but a loss of life. That's why I want you in a safe spot right now. Folks, you don't, you're watching the tornado live on TV right now on CBS 42 that is headed towards the city of Tuscaloosa. This is looking right into it. This is not a rain-wrapped tornado. This is a rare supercellular mesocyclone. Wow. This That's is amazing. pulling up debris. Look at the debris. It's getting pulled right up out of, this, uh, out of the, uh, the ground there, the trees as well as uh, any structures. Marlon, you're doing a fantastic job shooting this thing. Mm -hmm. You're in a perfect spot for it. Stay where you are. We're going to watch this thing as it continues to move. If you have relatives in touch, okay, Lee Garner. That's, that's Lee Garner. House. Lee, great work. Make sure work. you call people. Look, all right, this is becoming much larger. This is becoming more of a wedge tornado. That is becoming a much larger tornado. And it may be trying to set, no, you know, it's going to go through cycles. This is a tornado that is going to be doing a lot of damage. Look at the debris right here. See that wrapping back around? That is what's getting churned up by this tornado. My gosh, look at the size of this tornado. This is a massive, massive tornado, folks. Please take cover immediately. Here is Skyland Boulevard, right there. Here is the tornado. It's now about to move across the airport. Uh, it's just moved through Foster's. Uh, let's just, uh, let's go ahead and go through some of the communities. I'm gonna get as detailed as possible. Eventually, it will be crossing over uh, US Highway. Um, uh, actually, it's moving up 11 right now, but uh, we just lost our shot. Okay, let's go to the uh, Look radar. at the radar. It's unbelievable. Okay. You can see that right there. Look at there. that hook. Very Look at that right there. Hook that, right there. Is, that is the uh, tornado. Right it along 20. Right up I-20. This is moving up I-20. is headed towards Skyland Boulevard, McFarland Boulevard, the University of Alabama. Again, as I mentioned earlier, you should be already in your, your place of safety. Now, if you haven't done it, get somewhere safe. This is a large and very violent tornado headed towards the city of Tuscaloosa. Please heed my warning. This is a very dangerous situation. We just showed you live footage of that tornado as it's headed towards the city. Lee Garner has video of that. It is now churning right now, just up I-20, right up 11, headed into the city of Tuscaloosa. This is a difluent pattern, so this thing is really starting to ramp up. It's really starting to become a very active tornado. And uh, we are going to get that live shot back here in just a moment. Uh, I have faith that uh, we got the best people in the business right here at 42. They're going to take care of that, and we'll get that shot back up in just a minute. Because you just don't get live tornadoes on TV, uh, on live TV, very often. It's rare. We don't want to have to do it, obviously, but uh, if it's out there, it gives you an idea of what is coming your way. And it also gives us an idea of what to pass along to the National Weather Service. And look at that. That's really ramping up. Yeah, that's okay. a very tight area of circulation. Okay, go in closer for me, all right? We're going okay. to get right down on this. Okay, let's go back to it. Oh, my God, look at that. Wow. Oh, that's oh in the my city. God. Take cover Take immediately. Take cover immediately. This yes. is a very Ladies and gentlemen, tower. this is a large tornado on the ground. Please take cover immediately. This is a very violent tornado. We lost the shot again. It's going to come back. We, we will get it back. This is, um, this is a very, very dangerous situation. Take, take our warning right now. It is now churning through southern, the city of Tuscaloosa. My God, look at that. That thing is huge. We got power flashes going on with it as well. This is, folks, this is a, a violent tornado. This is really violent. Okay, look at that. There is the tornado. Uh, it's now moving right up I-20. Uh, this is uh, Skyland Boulevard. That's, you just don't, you see something like this out on the Great Plains, the Central Plains. This so, is live. This yeah. Is so, all right, hang on with that shot, Lee. My God, look at that thing. It's huge. That is a uh, big tornado that is headed towards the city of Tuscaloosa. You got warning if you are in the city northward, the university, hang in there. We're going to get through this. I promise you, we're going to get you through it. It's just got to pass. We have large debris now flying up off the backside of this tornado. If you're in a safe place, you're going to be okay. We're going to get you through this. Keep us turned up. This is a massive, violent tornado. My gosh, look at the debris. The debris field is absolutely huge, and it continues to strengthen. This tornado is a wedge tornado, multiple vortices on this thing. This is as violent as it gets when it comes to a tornado. 
Holt, you need to start getting in your yeah. safe place as well. Area, Holt. Okay, we are looking northward now. This is headed towards the university. It is uh, bearing down on the university. I believe that is DCH. That is the uh, hospital there. Um, all right, freeze that shot. Uh, we lost the shot. All right, let's go back okay, to the It's going to come back. The tornado. In. All right, we got it. Okay, we're There's losing power, power flashes there. Oh my gosh, this is a large tornado, folks. This is a large tornado. So, all right. That's going to move right across McFarland, the university. We, um, we're watching it live as you are. This is a, um, a rare Hall. and historic day for not only Alabama, but for us at CBS 42. You're watching a tornado plow through the city of Tuscaloosa. That is, um, we're with them. We're going to get through it. All right, for those of you anywhere from, all right, we're going to get the shot back here in just a minute. Uh, for those of you of in North Jefferson, or excuse me, let me correct that. Any, any of you in North Tuscaloosa, uh, now northeast of Alabama, over William uh, Bacon, Oliver Lake, uh, this tornado is churning northeast very quickly. It's past Bryce Hospital. It is past the University Medical Center and Student Health Center. It is now headed towards, let me pull up some of the uh, locations here. I'm going to try to get uh, Holt. It's headed your way. Uh, Holt, this is a, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this is an EF5. EF4 to EF5, this is a violent, violent tornado. Uh, this, it's, uh, you don't get them any bigger or more violent. Look at that. That's what we've seen right there as it's now moving over downtown Tuscaloosa. The hail core is tremendous. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going here, but it's now moving through Holt. Or will be here momentarily, those of you in Holt. We're going to get you through it again. Like I said, hang in there. We're going to get you through this. Go to your lowest floor, away from doors and windows. Get in a basement. Put a helmet on, folks. Put a football or baseball helmet on. If you're in the path of this tornado, look at that lightning. Okay. Yes, our crew is safe right now. I will say that. They are, um, mm -hmm. they are in good shape. Safe. That tornado is now north of the city and headed towards Holt. And folks, that is bigger than the one that uh, hit December 2000 in the city of Tuscaloosa that claimed uh, several lives. Um, I just, um, I'm hoping and praying that this is a, um, that God has protected all those folks there who are in the path of this tornado. But I can't emphasize enough how important it is for those of you up the line from this tornado, heed our warnings. Please take cover immediately. Again, in bathtubs. Put uh, pillows, put mattresses over the top of your head, your family's head, uh, bicycle helmets, baseball helmets, football helmets. I don't care. Put something over your head and make sure that you are, um, you are protected. All right, let's get them. Please zoom in on this. Uh, let's zoom in on that tornado. Uh, we've got lightning, which is striking all around it. And uh, I've, I've never in, in my entire career or lifetime thought I would be standing in front of a live picture of a tornado in Alabama, but that is a violent tornado that just passed through the city of Tuscaloosa. Our newsroom, we got to get folks right now. We got to get information what's going on there. I know it's probably yeah, chaotic, and um, that's all right. We're going to get in touch with the EMA. We got to find out what's going on with that. Uh, for those, uh, I know that this, the university is always, always good about getting the students in a place of safety. That's very important. And I, for I know, I've got, I've, hey, listen, I'm getting emails from a lot of you parents out there who have students that you live in different parts of the state, or not only the state, but also the country, that you watch our live feed. And I'm going to be honest with you, it did uh, go through a, a section that uh, we didn't want it to, but the University of Alabama goes above and beyond to make sure every one of those students is in a safe place. You can, I can guarantee you that. We told them ahead of time to be sure to do that, and it is now out of the city. So at this point, power outages are probably likely very widespread. Uh, this is the tornado, and uh, honest to goodness, that thing's getting bigger. I think this is becoming, it looks like it would be a quarter of a mile, maybe half a mile wide, if not bigger. The entire wall cloud, the entire base of this thunderstorm is now the tornado. Can you get them to zoom in on that, Tracy, please? Because the lightning, you see the lightning striking around on all sides of it. I'm just going to step out of the way. Zoom in on that tornado if they would. Okay, because that right there is a wedge tornado. Very, very rare in the state of Alabama. Very rare that you can see a wedge tornado like this. This tornado is, uh, it's, it's going to go down as a uh, part of history. I can guarantee you that. 
got to zoom in on that if we can get them to do it. I know that they're, hey, they're, they're as shocked as we are, what we just saw plow through. Lee, um, man, I'm telling you, uh, we just watched history right there, and uh, I, I can tell you, that right there is a massive wedge tornado. What can you tell us? Uh, guys, it was absolutely terrifying. Um, just a huge tornado tearing through the city. Um, kind of hard to tell exactly what kind of path it took. It looked like it hovered over uh, Bryant Denny Stadium for a while there. You could clearly see that there was tons of debris uh, just floating up into the air, and, and it's, it's kind of vanishing from our viewpoint now. I, I don't know if the tornado is still on the ground, but definitely a scary couple of minutes there. Yeah, and you, Lee, fantastic work. Fantastic work. Mm -hmm. I think you just saved a number of people's yes. lives. Marlon uh, Price, you just saved a great lot of lives. I have mm -hmm. complete and total faith that you did. Uh, great work. That tornado is even bigger now. It is now north and east. Uh, it is covering the entire base of that horizon there. If you can zoom out just a touch for me, guys. Just a touch. Zoom out. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what we got. And uh, it looks like with the haze, oh my gosh, that thing is huge. That thing, all right. That tornado starts here and ends here. That has to be a mile wide tornado. This has to be an EF5 tornado on the ground northeast of Tuscaloosa. That is moving quickly towards the northeast at about 60 miles per hour.